Hi, I'm Abby McHugh Griffa, Executive Director of the Climate Solutions Accelerator. I hope you are thoroughly enjoying your summer. We are. We just had our annual staff board retreat down at Hunt Country Vineyards, which is our primary opportunity during the year to get everyone together, look at our big picture, you know, 10-year vision and what we're doing this year, make sure that aligns, aligns with the strategic plan. We had a rich discussion around how we measure our progress, which is quite hard for an organization like ours, to be honest. Um, and of course, we got to drink eco-friendly wine in a beautiful place. So totally delightful day. Uh, and again, kind of situating us to make sure that our organization continues to be effective and head in the right direction. I also had the opportunity just a couple of weeks ago to experience the week, which those of you who were at our Climate Solutions Summit this past April will recall is a project that our keynote speaker, Frederick Lalu has spearheaded. And it's a series of three short documentaries that the idea is to experience them with a group. And they bring you kind of through this U-shaped journey, right? Starting with the doom and gloom, like the urgency of the climate crisis and actually biodiversity loss and pollution also. So they they lay out the reality of this uh, terrible environmental situation that we're in. Then help us understand how we got into this mess in the first place and then come out the other side with how can we take action and what does that look like in, in its many different forms. So this was my first experience of the week. I did it uh, with a little group at the First Unitarian Church. Thank you to John Kiever for uh, his willingness to organize that. And it was great. I mean, I'm already a person who's quite concerned about climate change and understands it at a pretty deep level, but I still learned things and I was still inspired. And what I thought was really excellent about it was that it does, you know, it steers clear of politics pretty much entirely and gives a, a really um, accessible and human entry point for people who maybe are newer and fresher to this. So I'm going to encourage you to organize a little showing of your own, perhaps with your family, perhaps at your workplace, perhaps at your church. Um, so it's easy. They make it super ultra easy. Everything is just, they kind of do it for you. All you have to do is get the people together. And yes, three times over a week, I think that is the biggest challenge, but it was worth it. So the week, the week at dot o o o. encourage you to check that out. Um, coming up, not in the summer, but kind of at the close of summer in September, I hope you are at planning to attend the Climate March downtown. It's been a few years since we've had a big march. So our goal is to really turn people out. And again, we need you to make that happen. So please plan on being there, but not only you, your friends, your family, your colleagues, your neighbors, uh, anyone who, you know, a warm body who you can drag along, uh, make yourself some signs. We'll, you know, do some chants, all the fun March things that we do at marches. Um, but again, it's been a while, but it is an important way to demonstrate the large numbers of people who really want climate action. Just turning out and being there with everyone else is an important climate action to take. And again, that's coming up in September. So if you haven't already saved the date, please do so and please bring others along. Last thing I just briefly wanted to mention is that we have had the good fortune over this past year to have an AmeriCorps VISTA member working with us. Uh, Taro, Taylor Wilkie has been full time on the job with us for very, very little pay. It's kind of terrible. Um, but over this past year, I hope she's had a good experience. I know we have really appreciated her work. Her uh, job was mainly focused on the tedious, boring stuff that no one else wanted to do. So for example, she organized our Google Drive, which although not um, particularly exciting or sexy, was so important. And so we thank Taylor for her year of service with us and wish her the very, very best in the future. Um, and that's all for today. Thanks so much for listening.